Hey guys, so it is Friday. We just got in from Florida early this morning. Jalen made us some spaghetti for dinner last night, but we got in so late, we didn't eat last night. We're gonna eat today. Just waking up, cause our plane got in late. So let me show you what she made. Some spaghetti. And now she's gone to Chicago. But me and Mr. Finna eat. Isaiah just, his plane is just getting in. I just saw it on my tracker. So he should be home soon. Hey guys, so it is about, mm, I say two weeks after our planet now. And look at the garden. Look at that. It is time. I went past time <laughs> getting the lettuce off. Oh my goodness, look at all that lettuce. I'm about to get it off now. And that, that, and that. And then there's another lettuce over there. I just wanted to see how it would grow in another spot. And then those are the collards. There, there, there. And these are the cabbage. They're looking good. And look at the spinach. Right there and right there. And then this is the broccoli. I am so interested to see how the broccoli is going to come out. It's right there. So it's coming up, coming up good. These are the onions. So I gotta get some of this onion off of here. There's basil. Something look like it's been eating up my basil, y'all. There's no little critters in here because we got it caged in. But anyway, maybe some little uh, insects or something. But I gotta get that off of there. This is the time, and I got I see a weed coming like right there. So I gotta get it away from there. There's. Um, bell peppers red bell pepper all oh, the um marigolds are coming up i was worried about them because they wasn't looking too good at first but there they go and they said that those were good to put in your tomatoes to keep that um it's a certain kind of worm and if i think of it i'll put it on the bottom of the screen a certain kind of worm that likes tomatoes so the marigolds helps keep that away and i do have to do some other weeding there too so those are doing good. All the tomato plants, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tomato plants. So it's looking good, y'all, looking good. I can't wait until those tomatoes start popping off of there. And then here are the green beans. It's one, two, three, four plants. And they are coming along, they're growing. So I'm happy about that. And I have to trim back my plant dead head and all that good stuff so I can keep flowering. This is a petunia plant. These are big old, these are big girl petunias. Yes, they are. Some big petunias. So oh, I have to do this one and that one over there. So my husband bought some cages. Y'all excuse the grass, it gotta be cut. <laughs> but my husband bought some cages. There's some over there here so we got to get those around the green beans this beauty here i was so i am so proud of this when i planted this one myself i got the container from lowe's it's a two-piece kind of grecian like grecian style container and i have to clean it up cut back and deadhead and all that stuff but they're coming out good I gotta put this down further, put some more dirt around that one and pull it up because it's leaning. Oh, yeah, I gotta do something to that. But it looks good. I know it can look even better, so I gotta get in there and clean it up. This is a tomato plant. This is a Parks Whopper Improved. It's a hybrid tomato. So I'll do something with that. These are Brussels sprouts. And then these are cucumbers. These flowers are coming out real pretty. I don't know what these are. Uh, the tag is not in them. 
and the little tag that's on here and I gotta get it off here because I do not like tags showing. It was a flowering something or another. But anyway, it's pretty. It's flowering nicely, much better than when I first got it. They were on sale probably because it was time to just get rid of them. And this one is going pretty good too. I gotta clean it up. We've been on vacation. So the yard has to be done. We've been gone like five days. And was it four days? Four or five days. And we have to clean the yard up. Gotta mow the lawn, clean up, prune the flowers, get the stuff out of the garden. We're gonna set up the tent here. Put some more chairs out. We gotta get some new covers for the grill because those are torn up. And then put the pool up. And do something with that over there. I don't know where all them bricks going, but they got to leave there. Coming over to my little container garden. These are doing pretty good. Um, that's the cilantro. These two are cilantro. This one's not doing good. I'm sorry, that one is not doing good. This one's doing good. This is a red bell pepper. It's coming up nicely. These are chives. This here is a green bell pepper. And then this is rosemary. And I'm absolutely in love with my planter. I planted this uh it's about a, maybe a little over a week and it's coming along really nice i gotta get in there clean it up so it can bloom even more but it is so pretty so pretty my petunias are really doing good and i'm so proud of those so i've learned how to weed and cut back and prune even better and over here to the other one that was doing good and then these are doing excellent except this one i didn't know that this one needed to be in a pot it does best in a pot um but i have another one though that's sitting back there that's doing good so i don't know anyway i watched a couple of videos on this type of a plant and they are super bells and they said sometimes just depending on where you have them, if you have them in the ground, it's not the best. And then if the situation around them is not the best, then, you know, it's not going to do well. So I don't know what's going on with that one versus that one there. I have no idea. So I will most likely pull this up and put in some yellow petunias right here. And so these are doing pretty good over here. On over to the side of the house this is my painting area y'all so and it shows on the fence but we have to get this fence replaced so it's okay and also by the time it rains a couple of times this kind of just wears away so we just use this as our painting spot and uh, my husband painted something over here i did too oh i painted the shepherd's hooks for those petunias i just showed you the two yellow petunias on the side of the garage i painted those black again because they were black but it was the color was wearing off so i repainted those and i did that over here and uh then my husband painted something over here and oh he's redoing a chair for his mom so he painted that over here and this is the little petunia arrangement i have on my front porch but the um pot was white so i brought it over here and i covered my petunia with plastic kind of encased it in a big sheet of plastic and kind of tucked it up under there, kind of in the dirt. And then I used a brown, a sturdy brown paper bag, like a um, Kroger grocery bag that's kind of stiff. And then I just held it up to make sure I, to hold it up and that so the paint wouldn't get on the plastic or the flowers in case I didn't have it encased the best. So held it up with the brown paper bag and then I sprayed all around and just kind of went around holding the bag the brown paper bag up so i can get all of the pot as much as possible but it came out really nice i'm so happy about that and so it's going on the porch and i used this um rust-oleum painter's touch and i used it in a semi-gloss black I don't think I'm going to seal it. I have some sealer, but I don't think I need to seal that. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep with this. But this is the big sheet of plastic I encased um, 
the flower in. I just put it on top and tucked it around there. So, because I was not taking that flower out of there and the dirt and all that. And I, mm -mm. no, that would have messed that. I would have messed that plant up. So I did it the easy way, but it came out good. Came out really good. So me and Jalen, what am I doing? Me and Jalen came out in a torrential rainstorm. We didn't know it was that bad. So we got out in it. So we, we came out to the Bath and Body Works semi annual sale. Ooh, we just had a storm, y'all. And and it took my tent up, put it over there. My husband's trying to straighten out the poles, but we don't know yet. I mean, just tow up the stuff. <sighs> oh, you guys, we had a storm last night. It blew my tent over and I got a hole up there in the tent. We have to patch it, but um, it blew my tent all the way over here. You talking about what's sick? <laughs> My husband and my daughter, they had to laugh at me a little later, but I, my, ooh, they said it looked like I was finna expire, y'all. We had just, we just set this up on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. So the storm came in yesterday on Monday. It had only been up two days. Oh my goodness. Blew it over, blew the furniture over, except that table. That table stood right there with the glasses on it, too. So, cause I was like, how? Me and my husband was like, how did this thing blow over? And we got sandbags. We have sandbags on each corner. But what it was, was we kept the, even though the netting has holes in it and you know, the breeze can come through, the netting was still a barrier. So the wind couldn't come through and just blow through. So it just lifted the whole thing tossed it over here some of these were bent the metal was bent a little bit my husband put it back because he's he oh he felt sorry for me so i think he just said let me try to fix this thing because we already had a tent one tent i think it was like three years ago and it was nice too uh this one is nicer than the other one a little bigger too but it got tossed by a storm and so we ended up getting this one and y'all saw the the backyard redo a lot of you all if not i'll try to put it at the end at the end of this video and i did a video and just was in love with this one just in love because it had the netting the other one didn't have the netting to keep the mosquitoes and stuff out and it was um about a foot on each side smaller i believe but anyway we just got this one, uh, was it last year, year and a half ago, whatever, but last summer was the first summer we used it. It went through a storm and was fine last year. Yesterday, the storm was just awful, and it just, yeah, I don't even know. I still do not know how to pick them, them sandbags. I can barely carry one of those sandbags myself. I don't know how, but it did. But that table and them glasses stood about right in that spot and didn't budge. I said, what the world? <laughs> anyway, we got it set back up. My husband fixed it. He kind of bent the things back in. I don't know how he did it, but he said, let me do this so my wife will not leave here today. <laughs> I was trying to leave here, y'all. I was, I was outdone. Boy, the tears was finna come. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think it's gonna, I don't know about when we take it down, if it's gonna bend down properly and all that. I hope so, cause I love this. This is really, it really is a good tent. You just have to learn how to maintain them through a storm. And so we think it was just the, you know, the netting. We needed to have the netting open so that the wind could have just went through. Cause it has even the little, it has holes there. And then it has this little vent at the top so that that won't happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. So we think it was just the netting that we, we had it closed on all sides. So anywho, whatever the case may be, it's back up and I'm thankful it's looking good. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, the thing over there, my husband is Aaron and Jacko. It tossed that thing, towed it up, 
so it's a snap together kind of thing it's like a container for when you're barbecuing gardening or whatever you can keep your supplies in it but it was sitting right there under that and it tossed that tossed my flower i kind of had to put my flower back together it didn't destroy it but it was kind of some of the flowers was kind of coming out in the dirt and all that so i just packed it back in and it it's fine and uh yeah but, so we had a lot of projects going on y'all so my husband moved the grills on this side. He's going to build a platform over here so he can grill over here and we can have the patio for y'all. Excuse these covers, y'all. <laughs> we got to get new grill covers. So excuse those. But um, yeah, he's going to make a platform over here and keep his grills over here and grill out over here because it's shady. The neighbors have a tree and it's just shaded really good over here and it's breezy. So he'll... Um, grill out over here he was concerned about that because he said he wanted to be with people while he was grilling and i said well you usually grill and have food ready by the time the people come so it won't be like you know you're missing anything the food is usually the, the grilled meat is usually already ready so so anyway so he said yeah okay so he said he'll move it over here good morning guys come along to see my new car <laughs> So I'm here with Reese. There's Rob. There's her husband, Rob. <laughs> You're on YouTube. <laughs> a little dirty. We just came back in town. Her name is Elvira. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Reese got a new. Let me take this mask off. So Reese has gotten a new car, and we are going on a car tour of the Nissan Kick. Cute. And for real, you named her Elvira? Yes. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> oh, she's black on black on black. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, nice. And the, wait a minute. The new car smell. This is my favorite smell in the world. It has to be even over perfume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here is the steering and it is an automatic of course and we have the what do you call this thing what is that not the dash but the, the screen yeah this the screen the, <laughs> eight inches <laughs> how, how big eight inches and she has an eight inch screen so that has does it have backup camera yes it does and it has a backup camera. Oh, wow. I want a backup camera when I grow up. I like it. It has USB cords. You can hook up your USB in the back. Okay. So it has USB cords and you can hook that up in the back. Nice. Black on black on black. I like it. Let me see your... Um, so Reese is okay. a yoga instructor. Mm-hmm. Yep, yoga mat. Okay, it's big. It has another mat. I just ain't rolled it out yet. Okay. That's real roomy. And I had never heard of a kick before you were talking about one. I like it. Gas mileage good? Get 33 miles to the gallon. Wee! That's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. I really like all this truck space. This look even it's funny how the car might not be huge, but somehow they find a way to make the trunk uh-huh and the even the back seats now. So I'm gonna get the cover mm -hmm. to go here and then I'm gonna get some rubber floor mats. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. <laughs> So your plate is full. Did you say you're going to get two wings. Just say that. Get two wings. Oh, nice. <laughs> so right. We're on diets, people. The food. We have a golden pizza. What's this? Yep. <laughs> so we're having salad and chicken today. I mean, salad. We got all the toppings. Strawberries. Apples. Plums. Cucumbers. 
What's them things called? Chickpeas, chick black beans, black beans. Pickled beets. Pickled beets. Pickle beets. Pickle beets. Pickle beets. Green olives. Green olives are over there. And we have hot sauce and lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. The crack. Ketchup. The crack sauce. Yeah, I, I got that. Thank you. Y'all turn around a second, Sean. Turn around, say bye. <laughs> All right, guys, so Jalen's going to open my, my bag up for me, too. But so the big bag is Big J's <laughs> and the small bag is mine. So, OK, she's going to open mine up. Can you sit down? Mm hmm. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. You've been moving around. You've been cleaning. Okay. No, come down here. So I got the peach bellini hand soap and the honeysuckle and peach spritz. That smells so good. And y'all know I like to mix my lotions with Vaseline and uh, regular lotion. Sweet pea. I hadn't smelled that in a long time. It's nice and fresh, so I got it again. Hello, beautiful. And champagne toast, the cream this time. Mm -hmm. So that's all that I got. Now, on to Big J's. <laughs> she just yeah, got it like that. <laughs> I have a couple other things in here. Yeah, she had thrown some <coughs> other things in the bag. Okay, so oh. okay, so so Jalen got. I got some hand soap, so mm -hmm. I have champagne toast. I have white t-shirts, mm -hmm. and then I also have peach bellini because mm -hmm. it smells so good. Yeah, it's so good. I don't know why they stopped selling the lotion and stuff in store, but you know. can get it. I think online. Yeah, yeah. it's like a fresh peach. And then I got um, champagne toast. Mm -hmm. I got the body wash and the lotion. Mm -hmm. Always try to get the set. Mm -hmm. Now, did you do you ever get the spritz, the spray? I have the spray over there. Oh, okay. But I hardly use it. Like, oh, okay. I and use she got perfumes. some stuff up there too. Yeah, grown woman. Oh Lord. Anywho. Um, this was from Victoria's Secret. Mm -hmm. It's just some more pure seduction. Had to re up. Mm -hmm. Then I got a couple candles. Pink Shores. That smells good. Mm -hmm. If this is what Pink Shores smell like, that's where I want to go. Mm -hmm. Champagne Toast and uh, Fresh Orange. Mm -hmm. This smelled really good. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. They started blending smells. Yeah, that was odd to me, but okay. It smells really good. Yeah, good. And then I had to get some champagne toast, of course, because mm -hmm. that's my favorite smell from Bath and Body Works. Mm -hmm. And it was on sale. It just had old packaging, so that's why it was on sale. But. Yeah. So if you can deal with the old packaging, which I don't, you know, I don't know why. So, and some people have, what's the, what are those things that you, the holders? Can, yeah. Candle holders. Some people have candle holders and you don't even have to see the old packaging. So that's something to think about. So that is all. That's our little haul from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today I am working on the outside of the house. My husband's uh, hip is bothering him. So he's not going to do this process. I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't want him getting up on the roof on the, you know, up. I don't. Mm -mm. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to show you a little bit because I want you to see the project. But we are changing the outside of the house. 
And um, yeah, I just want you to see a little bit. And this is what I'm doing and have been doing and have been off of YouTube a while because we had so much going on. But I uh, do want to bring y'all along for a little bit. Ah. <laughs> Isaiah's going to work. He caught me filming. He, he said, Ma! <laughs> but yeah, he's going to work. It's that summertime and he's going to work every day. Um, so it's navy blue, which I love. Navy blue and tan. I love this color. We've had it for, ooh, goodness, maybe seven years now. But it's time to go now. I love the navy blue. It's so pretty. But we're going to change it to black. I know it's summertime, but this is uh, what I've been wanting a while. So I'm putting black on here and uh, trimming with black and a little bit of tan. Um, so I'll try to show you, of course, some of the outcome. So basically, I have to get up on top of the garage roof, but not much more, which is good. So I need to get on up on this ladder and get going. Okay, so I'm looking past grungy, y'all, so I'm not showing myself. <laughs> but I have a lot, I mean, a lot going on. This is one one of the reasons why I did not film. I did not want to take time and set up the camera and all that. We ha we've had so much to do and to get done within a certain amount of time for a certain reason. So let me show y'all the projects. These are the windows in the garage, um, the garage doors. So I'm painting them black because they used to be navy or dark blue. These were like a medium blue. Um, but so I had dark blue, medium blue, and, and like a tan beige going on. So now I'm painting these black, but I have to clean them off and I'm gonna paint those black. The windows had to come out. So I'm cleaning the windows and cleaning the frames around them. So my husband already helped me take that out he's working right now he work he's working from home i know a lot of people say well, what, what do your husband do but, but he is the heavy behind all you see me do he does a lot of the leg work a lot of the heavy lifting and the, all that stuff so he does pass his share um, and then here's a chair here this is a flower pot holder and i repainted it it had gotten all rusty and everything it was a tad bit of a different color kind of similar but I just repainted it to match uh, what we have going on now and this is going actually most likely in the backyard but uh, yeah got the my little gloves I was wearing some plastic gloves they dirty so I just put them there to hold the plastic down so the plastic doesn't get all up on the chair so I was painting that and then coming on down here in the driveway at the end of the driveway we have a new mailbox my husband put that in and i put some flowers around the mailbox and this is still not done i have some work to do here to make it look real pretty so got some flowers going in there i put some of the flowers in a little bit ago but i put some more down this morning okay update on this too y'all so i painted this black and tan or cream and i was gonna paint up there i got up there on that ladder and the the roof over the garage was slanted so it doesn't look high but it felt so high when i was up there and i could not do it i could not do it so my husband is gonna get up there when his um leg is feeling good he's gonna get up there and paint those because it doesn't take long but I got up there and he was holding the ladder. He said, uh-uh, I am not gonna allow you to do that. He said, I don't even feel comfortable with you up there because you look unsure and unstable. So he said, come on down. <laughs> so he's gonna paint those shutters. Now, I know it might look yellow on camera, but it's not. It's really like a beige or I wouldn't say off-white. It's more like a tan beige color. It matches the siding on our house. And I painted the front window shutters. I painted those black. You see the painting tape around them. That's just painter's tape. 
so I wouldn't get paint on the bricks, but I was able to do that because it's down on the ground. So that is it, y'all. Um, so I am, even though I haven't been making videos, I am watching people's videos because I just have it on in the background and I'm watching it while I'm working. But I am supporting other people watching. Um, so, yeah, I just got a lot going on. And it's other stuff, y'all. I can't even say yet that's going on. But I'll reveal later on in the video that we're at, we are very excited about. So, anyway, let me get to work. for dinner and Popeye sounds so good. He got a pack to leave out of town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's a nice little t shirt. Go with my camouflage green. Mm -hmm. Vintage original. Where is this from? What does it say? Vintage original parts and services. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thank you very much, Tracy. You're welcome. There's something else in the bag, too. Yes, there's something else in the bag. Another ring? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a Father's Day present. It was a Mama's Day present. Present for me oh. on Father's Day. He found his wedding ring in his coat pocket. 
that he wore to church. Uh, ooh, had to be sometime yeah, last year. Smell too. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Tell me to work on my way. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> it's a wave pomade. I have to get my son for the Isaiah school away. Mm -hmm. And the card says, for my husband with love, if I could go back in time, I would do it all over again. Because you are the man. You're the greatest thing that has ever come into my life. That is not what the card says. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And even, the card reads. Yeah, even though that's true, but would would I take the bad with the good, the tears with the laughter, the hurts with the joys? Even though things weren't always perfect, I wouldn't trade one minute of our life together. And if I could go back in time, I wouldn't hesitate for a second and do it all over again with you. Happy Father's Day. I love you. Thank you for being the father of our children. This is Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. Very nice card. <laughs> mm. My wife. Not so subtle hints. That wasn't even a hint. That was basically. What? That wave pomade. I like waves. You used to wear them all the time here. I like them. You? Yeah. That's okay. Alright. This is. He already know. Mm -hmm. The best dad ever. What the world? Interrupting mm -hmm. gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interrupting gift given time, but go ahead. My daughter's car says, A girl never outgrows her dad. Hey! <laughs> You. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The show be the one holler. Yeah. Give me another hat. Another lid. Yes, it up. says, even though I'm older and our lives have changed in so many ways, I hope you know I still look up to you as my man, my hero, and my friend. I love you so much, Dan, on Father's Day and always. <laughs> love you long time. <laughs> Thanks for everything. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Jayla. My daughter. Hey! Every time. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Good bag of Twizzlers. They're nice and soft. Mm. We're going to go through these. <laughs> His car is too. What is a father? He is someone who shapes your life in so many ways. His presence is a constant reminder that he watches out for you and he cares about you. His guidance lets you know that he believes in you and wants only the best for you. His love is like no other love in this world and it starts <laughs> to mean more as you get older because you realize it takes an incredible man to be a father. Wow. And that's exactly what you are, an amazing man and a wonderful father. Happy Father's Day with love. Hey, Isaiah, thank you so much. Three really nice cards. Come to Daddy. Come here, boy. Don't let me jump over there. I might hurt myself. Thank you, Isaiah. I'm trying to tap into the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much. Yes. Yeah, we've dope. already he's already texted with Jordan. We'll call Jordan later. Too. Y'all, we took Mr. to an escape room for Father's Day. And escape we had to do. <laughs> the kids knew basically a lot of the things. We could not figure out them clues. Me and my husband just could not do it. We took an L on that day because those clues were hard. 
Oh my goodness. But the kids, they was with it enough to figure it out. And it just tired our brains out. So we let them do it. And um, we tried to do a little bit. But yeah, those escape rooms, they are something else. But we, we had a good time. On to the cemetery. We are visiting my father's graveside. Him and my mother are buried together. But uh, just honoring him today. I know basically it's symbolism and it's done out of just touching memories of course because I know only his body is here he is not but um, he was an uh, awesome awesome man an extraordinary father and grandfather and a, a wonderful husband so just wanted to honor him today and say thank you And on to one of our favorite places to end the day right.